Hey, good morning all my people out there on YouTube. It is me again, your favorite Texas trucker. And um, I'm sitting at a little rest area uh, just outside of Boston, about uh, 14, 15 minutes away from my final in Randolph, which is just south of Boston. Um, I'll be coming up here and then I'll be... Uh, I'll be taking 95 south here in just a little bit, uh, coming down to the south side of Boston. Anyway, um, I'm uh, going to deliver here in a little bit. It's 7.30 in the morning, so uh, I'll probably leave out of here in 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. My delivery is not till 9 o'clock, and like I said, I'm only about 15 minutes away, so not really trying to push to... Uh, you know, to get there right now. As soon as I uh, log in my pre-trip, tri my pre-trip, my clock starts. So uh, I don't want to get there and then have to sit there for two or three hours, you know, waiting to get unloaded. But I don't want to get there, you know, later and then find out that I could have got unloaded earlier. So it's always this gamble when uh, when you're planning to make a delivery. You know, I mean, especially when it's like this. I got here last night. About five o'clock or so, I had 15 minutes left on the clock. Um, you know, took care of my post trip. You know, went to the bathroom. Uh, the bathrooms here are kind of nasty. Uh, came back, made dinner. You know, uh, messed around the truck a little bit, and then I decided to look at my uh, my performance for the day. And, and uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway. Uh, I went into the sleeper, so my, my break was actually over with at about 3 o'clock this morning. But there was no sense in rolling out at 3 o'clock this morning since um, I can't deliver till 9 o'clock, you know, 10 o'clock. Let's see, 10 o'clock. Yeah, my delivery is not until 10 o'clock. <clears throat> That's two and a half hours from now. So, you know, I want to get there, you know, an hour, hour and a half early. So maybe I can get in there. I don't want to get there too early because I don't want to be sitting there all day, uh, you know, burning my clock, burning all my off time. I've still got another delivery to make before I can close this, uh, close this out and scan it all in the payroll, uh, which I'll I'll be doing today, uh, scanning all my stuff. In. So anyway, uh, yesterday I was talking, you know, I, I made a couple videos yesterday while I was rolling, showing you all the landscape. And I wasn't really talking about much because. Honestly, I didn't have much on my mind uh, to talk about, you know. Yesterday was a great day. I mean, it's the best day I've had out here in a long, long time. You know, and I've had a lot of good days, you know. Uh, I've had a lot of bad days, too. But yesterday was just a fantastic day. I'm not going to get into why. Uh, I had I had uh, some really awesome things happen yesterday. And, and I'm just going to keep those to myself. You know, uh, it's not something I really want to talk about on YouTube. It's just not. It's, you just know that I had a really good day. And, uh, you know, and I really, uh, my, uh, my wife helped me have a really good day. You know, I really, uh, she knows, you know, what all we discussed and what we talked about, you know. Uh, you know the rest of you don't need to know. So, uh, nothing bad happened. I mean, nothing. Uh, a couple times I got slowed down in traffic a little bit. There was one time I got slowed down in construction. I came into this area about four miles back and it slowed down to about 10, 15 miles an hour for about, you know, maybe three or four minutes. And, you know, other than that, nothing bad. I mean, it was smooth sailing the whole way. Pretty countryside, you know, smooth sailing. Didn't have to stop for nothing, you know. Stopped for my 30 minute break and then I was rolling again. And uh, I get here and, and, and Remember I said we'd talk about my performance bonus in a minute, so we'll get to that. So I get here and I take care of all my stuff. I look at my performance. Did I say performance bonus? Anyway, I ain't talking about my bonus. So anyway, um, I get here and I decide to look at my performance. And uh, and I see I did 678.1 miles. And, uh, man, I, dude, I was happy. I mean, my best, all-time best so far has been 694.8. So 678.1 is up there, you know, I mean, it's really good. And, uh, and I was kind of proud of myself, you know, and, and uh, you know, I, I had a good day and I was, I was pretty proud of myself, you know, getting 678 miles in. I mean, it's a good run. I don't care how you shake a stick at it, you know. And uh, I'm 
I'm on a couple websites or, or a couple uh, Facebook pages, a couple websites too, a couple Facebook pages. You know, uh, on one of them, you know, a lot of guys will talk about you know the miles they, they're doing, and how hard they're running, and all that. So I decided, you know, I posted a picture of the Qualcomm uh, page where it shows how many miles that I got that day, and uh, it was up about uh, 10 minutes or so. And this guy logs into it, I mean, uh, comments on it, and he's like, you know, cheating the clock. Well, I knew what he was saying, but I wanted him to come out with it. So I asked him, I'm like, you know, just what exactly are you trying to say? And he's like, you know, I'm just saying, you know, post-trip and pre-trip and, you know, 30-minute uh, rest and 678 miles, you know, you know, just saying. In other words, he's saying that, that I was cheating the clock. So I posted the picture of... of um, um, my uh, line log, you know, that shows, uh, you know, exactly what it was that, that I had done that day. It logged in my pre-trip, it logged in my, my post-trip, uh, you know, and it logged in my uh, my 30-minute break. On top of that, it logged in a two-minute stop that I made and uh, two different times. So, so I post that, and then uh, and then I post a picture of my uh, of my. Uh, uh, summary showing uh, how many hours I got left on my 70, how many hours that I drove today, how many uh, you know hours I've got left on my 8, how many I got left on my 11, and it showed clearly I drove 10 hours 45 minutes, you know, and that I didn't have hardly anything left on my 70 and had nothing left on my 14, right? And because by the time I had posted this, you know, I had already ate up what off time I had left. So here's the deal, you know. Uh, there's always going to be somebody who's going to have something negative to say. Okay, that doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. But when when you want to, when somebody says, "Hey, I drove 690, uh, 700 miles today," and you immediately think, uh, "Oh, well, that dude's cheating or something." Okay. Uh, post trip, pre trip, fueling. Those are on duty, not driving time slots. Okay. You log it in on an e-log, you log it in on-duty fueling, on-duty pre-trip, on-duty post-trip, so on and so on and so on. You've got a 14-hour day. Of that 14-hour day, you can only drive 11 hours, okay? Um, you could take, because you have three hours left, if you don't have to stop and, and deal with receivers or shippers, like I didn't have to stop and deal with any receivers or, trippers, or shippers until today. So if, if you don't have to stop, you've got three hours to burn. Three hours to burn in that 14 hour day. You can do that off duty, you can do it on duty. It doesn't matter what you do. You can do a, an hour long post trip, an hour long pre trip, and then uh, a 30 minute break and spend uh, 30 minutes uh, on fueling and, and still be able to drive a solid 11 hours. So it comes down to uh, how many miles that you can get is based on how many how many miles per hour you drive. Okay, 10 hours and 45 minutes, 66 miles an hour. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of that time that we drove through was at 70 mile an hour speed limits, downhill, and I did 70 miles an hour downhill the entire way. There were a few uphill runs. A few uphill runs, I got down to 55. Right? Uh, one, uh, most of them I never dropped below 55. I don't think any of them I dropped below 55. Most of them I didn't get below 60. So uh, I hit those hills running 60 to 55 miles an hour. I think one time I might got down about 53 or 52 miles an hour. But then I'd pick it right back up again going down the other side at 70 miles an hour. Uh, I had a couple construction zones that were fairly... Uh, fairly short, not very long, I'd drop it down to the speed limit, blast it through the construction zone, but there was no traffic, so I got to it, was in it two or three minutes, and then back up to speed again, all right, so, uh, you know, at, at, at a 10-hour run, at 66 miles an hour, you can run 660 miles, okay, I did 678, I didn't run 10 hours, I run 10 hours and 45 minutes, so in 45 minutes, I needed to make up 18 hours, I mean 18 miles, you can't do 18 miles in, in 45 minutes at 70, 70, 60, 6 miles an hour, there's something damn wrong with you. So, to the people that think that I cheated my logs, I don't cheat my logs, alright? I've explained you can do it in 3 hours, 3 hours, okay? Um, I didn't have any off time other than my 30 minute break. 
I didn't stop. I had two two logged in for two minutes at a time, where I stopped for two minutes to you know take care of something, and then I was back on the road again, moving again. Two minutes each time. So I did 678.1 miles yesterday, and I'm pretty I'm pretty glad for that. If you run hard, all right, you can do that every day. Here's the deal. That dude was from Warner, all right? I don't usually bash on companies. I'm not going to bash on Warner. But you ain't going to get the miles that we get at Millis running for Warner. It's not going to happen, okay? You can think it's going to happen. You can think Warner is a good company. You can think it's all right to work for a company like that, that they're, they're going to treat you right. But you are not going to get the miles running for Warner that you get running for Millis. That's just the bottom line. That's just the way it is. Millis runs a hell of a lot more miles, all right? We may not have as big a fleet. We may not have as big of, uh, as many trucks. We may not have as many drivers. We may not have as many fleet managers. We may not have as many terminals. But we run more miles, and we get paid more. So if you run hard and you run consistently all day long, every day, you can get those miles. 3,738 miles is what I've been in this week with as soon as these are delivered. As soon as this is delivered, my, I have to have these delivered by midnight tonight. If I have these delivered by midnight tonight, no problem. I'm, got, I'm here at my first delivery right now, 14 miles away. I'll leave out in about, oh, 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> I'll get there about an hour and 45 to an hour and a half early. I'll probably sit around and burn some off time. I'm not really concerned if I run anything after I run this today. If I get a load to pick up and I got time to pick it up, fine, I'll go pick it up. If I don't get a load to pick up and I gotta wait till tomorrow to pick it up, I'll wait till tomorrow to pick it up. I don't care. I'm ending my week today. 600 678.1 miles. If you run hard, if you keep that door shut and you run down the road, you can do that every day if you have the miles to do it. Now you can't do it with Warner. You're not gonna do it with Warner. You know, it's just the way it is. It's not gonna happen. You can't do it with Prime. Why can't you do it with Prime? Because you can't drive 66 miles an hour. You're driving 60 miles an hour. If that. Most of the guys are driving 55. You're not going to do it with, with any of those uh, major companies because they've got to split their miles out between a hell of a lot more drivers than what we have to split them out. You know, uh, I'm not really into bashing companies, but, you know, okay, you come on there and tell, tell me that I'm cheating on my logs, you know, and I'm just going to throw it out there. You're not going to get the miles yet. You look at 678.1 miles and you're like, damn, man, he had to cheat something. Why? Because you've never done it. You've never done it. You can't conceive of it being done because the only thing you know is Warner. You know? Uh, well, this ain't Warner, bud. This is but this is Millis Transfer. And Millis Transfer runs a hell of a lot more miles. I'm just saying. Yeah, we've got our bad weeks. Last week wasn't a good week for me. I had a bad week last week. Yeah, we've got drivers that don't break 2,500 miles a week. They do it by choice. They don't want to run that hard. They, you know, they want to take their time. They're also the same drivers you usually find in the terminals bitching because they can't get miles. Um, they could get the miles if they wanted it. You know, but the drivers with us that want those miles are going to get them. Anyway, into my rant, into what I got to say, like it or leave it, you know. It doesn't matter to me one way or another. For all you guys that are following me, you know, I had a great day yesterday. Today's starting out to be good. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Peace out.